Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be making Instapot spaghetti. This is super easy and it is delicious, so it will not be lacking on flavor. I know, I know you're saying Instapot spaghetti. I thought it was gonna be mushy and I thought it was gonna be, you know, I don't know what I thought. I just thought this is crazy. But trust me, it comes out super good. My whole family will eat this and it is so easy. It's perfect for those weekdays where you just need to crank something out really quick, but you don't have a lot of time. So if you're interested and you wanna see how I make this, stick around because I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so let's serve some of this. We're gonna grab some. We'll bring it right onto our plate here. I'm telling you guys, this is really good. You guys are gonna really like this. And, and it's so incredibly easy. Okay, so for our ingredients, we're gonna need a tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce of your choice, three cups. We're also gonna be using oregano. Um, we're also gonna use Italian herbs. I love this kind here. We're gonna need black pepper. We're also gonna need onion powder, garlic powder, um, I have about three quarters of this box. It's a one pound box and um, there's already some taken out. So I'm using about three quarters or about 14 ounces of spaghetti noodles. And then we're also going to be using some Italian sausage. You can substitute this for beef, ground beef, if you'd like. I love the flavor of this mild Italian sausage and so does my family. So we're going to be using one pound of this sausage. We're also going to need some Parmesan cheese and some parsley. We're gonna start out by setting our Instapot or pressure cooker to a sear, to the sear mode. And we're gonna let it preheat for about five minutes. Once it's preheated, go ahead and dump in your Italian sausage. Here I am just trying to break it up. I like to leave it in big chunks. That way they're easy to fish out once it's ready. So just break it up. I didn't even put any oil in here. This Italian sausage is gonna produce its own oil, so. We're going to set that and let it go for about eight minutes. Alexa, cancel the timer. Okay, so this took a total of about eight minutes. So that is good to go. Go ahead and turn your pot off. And we're going to dump in three cups of your favorite pasta sauce or your favorite spaghetti sauce, marinara sauce, whatever you want to call it. Get it on in there and mix it around. Now we're going to break our pasta in half. Yes, please don't come after me for breaking the pasta, but it's the only way you're going to get it to fit right in the pot. So break it up, and you want to lay it in just as you see me doing. It's very important. That way your noodles don't stick together. So just try to separate them all out as much as possible, just like this, in the same layer as well. Layer everything in just as I'm showing you. Now for our spices, we're going to add those in. Um, if you're interested to know how much measurements I used, check out the description. I will put in the description link exactly how much is going in of what. Also, we're gonna throw in two and a half to three cups of water, and then I am adding in some uh, this dried parsley it's a tablespoon of parsley, but I'm only going to put in half. I'm going to reserve the rest for whenever this is done. Make sure you close and lock your lid. You're going to put this on sealed. You want it to be sealed. As you can see, the valve is down. We're going to go ahead and start our Instapot on high pressure for eight minutes. Okay, we're going to let this go. And we will be back. Okay, so our Instapot spaghetti is cooking. Um, it'll be done here shortly. But I wanted to let you know that you can also do this on your stove top. If you do not have a pressure cooker or an Instapot, you could definitely do this right on the stove top, just the same way. Brown your, your ground beef or your Italian sausage first. Um, then add all the ingredients, just like I showed you. Um, and then you're going to cover this and you'll probably cook it for 10 to 12 minutes. 
So same concept, all in the same pot. Just cook it a little bit longer, like I said, 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how you like your noodles. Um, and then just stir it frequently, that way it doesn't get stuck on the bottom. So no big deal. You can definitely do this all in one pot on the stove as well. Okay, so this has been cooking for eight minutes. I let it set for an additional two minutes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and release, do a quick pressure release on here, so be careful. I just kind of throw a rag on there, that way it doesn't splash around everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna let that, all that steam release, and then we'll be ready to open it. Okay, so once that pan drops, then we are ready to open up the Instapot. Okay, here we go. Stand back so you don't get any steam hitting you in the face. Okay, so you can see that some of the pieces on here haven't quite cooked all the way through. So what I'm gonna do here is just give this a good mix. Oh, that looks yummy. Okay, it's very, very hot. Okay, we're gonna let this rest for like two minutes, okay? I'm not even gonna put this on the way, I'm just gonna set it down just like that. Let's let that rest for two minutes to finish cooking through. It is done now. We just let it sit for an additional two minutes. As you can see, it is yummy. It looks so yummy. Remember that reserved parsley? I'm just gonna go ahead and put some right on top. Putting in some Parmesan cheese. And it's done, just like that. Okay, so let's serve some of this. We're gonna grab some. I'm gonna bring it right onto our plate here. I'm telling you guys, this is really good are gonna really like this and, and it's so incredibly easy let's give it a taste test let's see how it kind of did very good you guys i'm not kidding you would think that this came from a restaurant the instapot really penetrates those noodles and, and, and that Italian sausage has penetrated through every single one of those noodles. So you can really taste all those Italian herbs all the way through. And it, it's just it's just perfect, you guys. You can see how, how good the noodles cook. They're not mushy. It's just perfect. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. That way you don't have to miss any of my videos. Also, if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit that little bell icon. That way you don't have to miss any of my videos. You'll get a notification as soon as I post. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you try this, let me know down below in the comments and let me know what you think about it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.